The rough plan for today is to drive some of the Great Ocean Road. So it kind of spoils the whole hot shower experience. Check out this view. Does it get much better than this? So Alexis likes to avoid the very cold and somewhat dirty floor and gets up on the bed via the fridge. All right, watch this. <laughs> Good morning, everyone. Good morning, my baby. <laughs> Alexis, Alexis, oh, she's hiding from me now. She got up. <laughs> she got up to have a pee. Uh, just in the bottle because it's too cold out there to go outside. And um, now she's hiding back under the covers to be all cosy warm. Uh, it is a bit cool. I don't know what the weather is. I have nothing to check it with, which is very annoying. Let me check now. Okay, so no wonder we're feeling a bit cool. <laughs> it's 4.2, but feels like zero, sorry, feels like minus 0 0.3. So uh, yeah, it's it's just below freezing. <laughs> that's why it's a bit cold out there <laughs> out there not under the blankets i've still got my blankets up here i'm just leaning up against the side i was doing a little bit of work this morning um catching up on uh captions for the uh, videos that i wasn't able to do captions for and um what else doing a bit more editing of um the next video and Sorry, I'm just trying to get organized. Oh, I was just looking for my phone going, where's my phone? And duh, you're using it. It's in your hand. <sighs> anyway, um, yeah, so I was getting a bit of work done this morning. I know, it's silly. <laughs> um, and now Alexis is awake and she'll probably just chill for a little while. I don't think we have grand plans to rush off. We can chill for a little bit this morning. Um, and then, um, I don't know, I... I've got a rough guide of where we're going next. The rough plan for today is to drive some of the Great Ocean Road because it's really, really cool and really beautiful. <coughs> and um, as long as my GoPro, when it did a weird thing last night before we arrived, hasn't like completely broken, I should be able to get some nice footage of the Great Ocean Road. Um, it sometimes plays up, so I'm hoping it was just one of those I'm not feeling very well things and it'll work again this morning because that would really suck missing out on footage of the Great Ocean Road. And I think I have a rough idea of where we might stay, but I mean, that's all open to change. That's the beauty of being able to sort of travel at whatever pace we want. We can just go, oh, I don't feel like driving that far, or maybe we can drive a little bit further or whatevs, or, you know, maybe we start out a bit too late and only have a very limited time to um, to drive before it gets dark because it's not great. Why are you doing that? I think I have a cable or something playing up. I have to reseat a few things. Um, yeah, you don't want to drive too late in the afternoon because that's when um, the wildlife comes out on the road. And uh, aside from the fact that I don't want to kill any animals, I also don't want to damage our car. Um, so yeah, that's not so great. Um, but yes, I guess we'll have breakfast at some point and, um, get our day started. So this is where we stayed. Just driving off from the little spot and there's my wonderfully noisy alternator belt doing its thing. Oh, hello birds. Rainbow lorikeets as well as cockatoos. Hey! <laughs> Yay! Be on camera. <laughs> uh, so we're driving around the long way just so I can show you. It's Proceed the to the route. Football field. Sorry, Siri, but we kind of need to um, do the rounds. Yeah. There's the football field on the left there. And. Um, <coughs> we stayed it was a decent stop it was $20 a night so we took advantage of the showers since we were paying 20 bucks anyway 
And then, of course, I was freezing as soon as I hopped out because it's really cold. <laughs> Let's turn this round. Uh, and while I enjoyed the hot shower, yes, I was then very cold after that. So it kind of spoils the whole hot shower experience which I find annoying. Honestly, I find a spot wash, limb by limb, body part by body part, be a lot better. Sorry. Sorry about my squealiness, lady. <laughs> In 12 kilometers, turn left onto Tamboon Nalawari Road. Alrighty. So <coughs> we are nowhere near the Great Ocean Road yet. We'll be getting there in about um, half an hour. Well, 23 minutes go back and then from that point we will just continue on towards do you remember the place we're heading to port they're all port something along here because they're from the edge of the ocean uh was it port campbell yeah okay might have been yeah port campbell and there's a camp there that's ten dollars a night which reminds me i need to try and get some more cash out because i don't want to use up all my coins that I need for laundry. Oh, there we go. Look out there. Oh my. Oh. Interesting. This says Bay of Martyrs, and then here it says Bay of Islands. And check out this view. This is why the Great Ocean Road is um, great, I guess. It's pretty incredible. Come back, Miranda. 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 <laughs> I'm just quoting it. Proceed silly to the route. <laughs> uh, isn't that amazing? Holy cow! Should we follow it a little bit further? Yeah. Goes a tiny bit further too. Check out these houses over here who get this view all the time. It's a bit rough. Oh my. Gosh, look at this. Look at the 
so let's go to the shops and get some cash out. Yep. We'll go to our campsite where you can rest for a bit. found these tiny gorgeous little tubs of Ben and Jerry's non-dairy one. It's so cute. I love it. This view with my sweet baby and ice cream. Does it get much better than this? <laughs> so we're parked up behind those trees there somewhere I think. It's quite the nice area here. There's a wild Alexis on the <laughs> road. Watch out. And a pretty cool kitchen setup. So you can have a fire there. There's really nice tables. There's a laundry. We're heading out to the loo here. Where are you? Oh, behind me somewhere. One of the reviews said the toilets were a bit dirty. You're bumping me. They look tidy enough to me, so I guess they came just before it was cleaned or something. Oh, showers. I think this place looks perfectly neat and tidy. Bushy little paths for the unpowered sites. So we're parked in here. It's the world of Lexus! <laughs> Lexus wants to sit in the front and play it on the switch <laughs> before we head off to see the nice sunset. So she's decided that this spot, just out of the sun, is the most comfortable. Are you hot? Yes. Oh, you have been running around like a little uh, bean, haven't you? Yeah. Apparently this is comfortable, but okay. <laughs> Just use my little workshop blower to blow all the dirt out of here. It's um, it's incredible how dirty the floor gets. It's much better now, heaps better. Okay, it doesn't look better. That's because those sort of um, mud stains, but you know, there was hair and big bits of dirt and rock and dust and stuff. And that is actually a lot better than it was. I have a friend who's offered me some vinyl and maybe some carpet pieces as well. They were off cuts from something that would just end up going to the dump. And um, she's keeping them aside for me. And uh, I may put vinyl on the floor at some point. Um, 
so that would be good because it would make it much easier to to wipe that surface off um it would still collect dirt and stuff but i can literally just use a cloth to wipe it off and give it a bit of a clean and uh on the step down there on the step here just off the edge there i want to get a muck mat i think i might have mentioned that before um I'll need to get one custom made to fit that spot, but that would mean we can actually wipe our feet on that step and it would save a lot of dirt coming into the van and being on that floor. Um, it's, it's just incredibly grotty. So it gets grotty so fast. So it would be nice to sort of be able to control a bit how much dirt comes in and um, also to be able to clean that floor properly if I end up putting vinyl on it. Uh, so that'll be cool, that that could be really handy. That's probably not gonna happen until we build out the rest of it properly because um, there's no point in putting the vinyl in places where we're gonna have to screw things into the floor. So once we've got the rest of the build in place, um, you know, like some cupboards and things like that, uh, then I'll put the vinyl on the spare spaces of floor and that should work very nicely. Oh! It's <laughs> a tiny little sparrow. Hey, little cutie. Or a wren or something. Yeah, there might be a snake there, Alexis. Move away. So, we're waiting for the penguins. 